Hey guys, I'm the Log Picking Patrolman, and finally back with you again today for another picking video. Um, you would think that having nights and weekends free from work would mean more time to make videos, but guys, I apologize. I've just been quite busy with uh, getting used to everything and catching up on stuff around the house and uh, all kinds of different stuff. But today, uh, we're going to pick open this lock pinned by Mr. Bill Bacardi himself. Uh, this is number 81. Uh, he sent this to me a while back in a big old box of locks, and I've been picking on it and got it open a few times. Um, so we're going to try to get it on camera. Uh, it looks like a six pin Schlage keyway. Key works great in it. Um, and instead of doing my normal uh, routine and picking this in hand, I'm going to use my favorite kick holder that I've got. Um, both uh, Bill and Squint also um, each gave me some kick holders, uh, some of these, um, which are really nice. They don't fit all the kick cylinders that I have, though. Um, but I use my little kick adapter for my Avis 83. And... Uh, Get the camera panned around here a little bit. Um, but this just makes it real comfortable to hold on to. Um, makes it comfortable to hold in hand and pick it. I don't have an actuator or the screw or anything in there. It's just dropped in. Um, so we'll get to picking on this. Uh, top of the keyway tension. I'm going to start off with moderate tension. And I think there was four I got to click off of. Work our way back to the front. Okay, that was one. Went into a false set. Uh, two seems like it's maybe wanting to do something. I'll come back to it here in a second. Okay, back here on five. Lost the false set. Let's let off a little tension. Manually rotate it. Okay, I think that was six I just got a click off of. Okay, hit five again. Let's see, five was the wrong choice to hit because I lost everything. Okay, tiny click off of five, and I think we're still good to go. Okay, I think that was four again. Five, maybe. Okay, there was six. Let's start back at the front okay number one gave us our false set again and get that tensioner repositioned a little bit um, make sure that we're focused in good there okay believe I'm on number three getting some counter rotation on three okay I think I got three set maybe Yeah, guys, I tell you, uh, switching positions at work has been kind of hectic, but hopefully I'll have some more time uh, coming up to do some more videos. I've still got a mountain of all these challenge locks uh, left to try to pick. Some of them I haven't even been able to pick open or only gotten them open once or twice. Um, give you guys a better view here. There we go. And some of these just don't want to cooperate for the camera. And I tell you, I try to practice on them and get them open whenever I've got some time in the evenings, but if I do get them open and there we got this one open. Um, that was uh, pin one. Felt like it needed to be kind of rotated up like that with the pick. And then I believe that was pin four finally gave us the open. Um, but anyway, like I said, uh, been trying to get uh, 
some of these just where I can open them reliably and um, come on board here. And they've just not been wanting to cooperate really. Got the cat right there in the window too, so that's kind of limiting my workroom a little bit. Um, but anyway, like I said, hopefully I'll get some more of these open and we can make some more videos. Okay, and I'll definitely use a shim in here just because it is a challenge lock. Um, I didn't feel anything like a T-pin or anything like that, but I did feel some other maybe kind of weirdness. Um, let's see. Shim's wanting to get hung up on something in there. All right, just try it like that. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Pin one, a serrated key pin, or key pin one, I should say, serrated. Two is a torpedo. Uh, nice looking torpedo there. Let's see if I can get three out of here. Three is a tapered looking key pin. Get these guys arranged real quick. Um, four is another serrated key pin. Five is also another serrated key pin. I'll get him arranged in a second. And six is another uh, torpedo-like pin. I'll give you guys a close-up of all these pins here at the end of the video. And I'm seeing some undercutting in chambers one, three, four, nothing in five, and undercutting in six. So, very cool. Just dumped the little retainer spring out of there. I'll just pop him back in while I got him. All right, let's see what's upstairs. And guys, like I said, I got the window open for the kitty cat. He's laying here and just taking a sun bath. So I apologize about the weird lighting. Okay, pin one. It's a spool with a copper spring. Two is a standard. Let's see if we can get that spring out of there. Oh, come on. Being a little bit shy. Got a steel spring in two. Three is another spool with a copper spring, big copper spring. Sorry guys, I didn't realize it wasn't in focus there. Okay. Four is a two-piece pin. I see a little wafer in there. Looks like a T-pin. Uh, one of these... I don't know if they're drunken or what. Um, but I believe that wafer goes to the spring and then the T-pin goes like that. Can't remember what that's called, but I've seen that before in a couple other locks. Uh, let's see if we can get that spring out of there. OK. 
Okay. A little steel spring. Five. Is a standard. I'll tell you what, I'm going to grab the spring for five, but I'm going to grab six from the back. Okay, and six is a spool. With a little steel spring in it. And then the spring for five was another steel spring. Um, in the core, excuse me, kitty cat, need my flashlight. In the core, I'm not seeing anything right offhand. Uh, looks all standard to me. Um, but anyway, here we go. Mr. Bill Bacardi, thank you again for sending this lock along with all the other uh, great locks that you sent to me. You guys can hopefully see the pins there. And again, I appreciate you coming back to watch me. I know I'm getting close to 100 subscribers. Uh, I was at 91 just last night when I looked. Um, and again, I know I've not been putting out that many videos, but I do appreciate you guys watching and you know keeping in touch. And I try to comment and watch on as many videos as I can. And uh, so just to let you guys know, I am still here. I am still around. And I do still have uh, kitty cats and plenty of locks to work on. So anyway, guys, have a great day. Remember, please don't pick any locks that are currently in use. Please do click like. Please don't pick any locks that are currently or that don't belong to you. And please do click subscribe if you're not already. And remember, have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.